Hi Taurus and welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you in separation from someone. You feel a strong soul connection with that person, so they could be a soulmate or twin flame. I'm going to look at your energy and your person's energy. Feel free to flip the energies, they can come out reversed. Remember this is general, so it won't resonate with all of you. Take what's yours and leave the rest. In your energy, Taurus, um, I was feeling that a lot of you have been aligning, healing, standing your ground, and some of you are visualizing the future you desire. Some of you have a vision board where you've got like places, people that you want in your life. Some of you are very creative. And if you don't have a vision board, that is an idea for some of you, because it can help you to manifest what you desire. Okay, so let's start with your energy. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, they're immediately giving me the name Claire. Okay, yeah, so some of you hold this person close to your heart. I'm really getting emotions coming through here for you, Taurus. Um, you might feel a bit overwhelmed at the moment. This is why I was getting that some of you are trying to balance within. Because you might have you know, a lot that you're juggling, family, work life, and then you're also trying to meditate and visualize, you know, this connection that you desire. You really love this person. Um, I just got like shivers there when I picked up this card. When you meditate and think of this person, visualize this person, that's how you feel. It's a divine love. Yeah, I just got a knot in the throat there. Wow, there's a lot of longing coming through in some of you. I mean, this is a divine connection. We've got twin flame energy here, 1111. You might be seeing that number as a sign. Spirit is saying to be patient. Tame the ego, tap into your spiritual side. Have faith, nurture yourself. We've got Leo energy there. Yeah, see here's the visualizing that I was seeing um, in my vision. You're missing this person dearly. And this, see this is what you're visualizing you and this person together, maybe having a dog or pets, family. Yeah, but this is why some of you might be in this two of pentacles because you, you don't see what's coming for you. Sometimes you lose hope, you feel stuck. 
Let's see your person's energy. So interesting when we get a repeat card, your person's got the two of pentacles as well and I'm feeling this stress now and fear in this person. They've got a lot going on. You might be feeling their energy as well. See this card showing that as well. Um, they're trying to persevere. And they've got a nine here showing an ending, potentially. I'm just getting this uncertainty um, with that two of pentacles. And this is quite interesting because we've got two queens here and the Ace of Pentacles in the middle. So I feel they're in a commitment, but they're not seeing eye to eye with that person. Imagery always shows us a lot. See how they're looking in different directions. Your person could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel they're quite stable in the home and the finances, but their heart's not in it. There's like, I keep feeling this stress coming over me. Um, and that's coming through here, the five of wands conflict with this person. Wow. They got the ace of cups that you got. This person is looking back on what they did. They sabotaged this connection with you. And I'm feeling here they're starting to awaken. And that's why they're in this conflict as well within. As they're healing and purging, it does cause that sort of inner conflict. Um, you're on their mind as well. Aquarius energy. Let's get some more on this Queen of Cups. Yeah, same card. So this is your person. Water energy, or they could have water in their chart. And there's the other energy, but they're going through this tower moment, which is an awakening, no longer wanting to feel trapped, break up potentially. Let's see about this Queen of Pentacles. See, first of all, we've got three energies. So some of you might know um, that there's a third party, but I just got an itchy crown chakra there. Some of you might be experiencing that. Um, because you're receiving downloads and it's interesting she's got a crown now I'm seeing this now as your energy you know there's different messages coming through here and them wanting to charge forward to you this shows reunion cancer energy there 
See, there's the Ace of Cups. So when their heart awakens, they awaken. They want this reunion. Wow. I can feel this overwhelming energy here. So your person transforms. Yeah. Ace of Cups again. Definitely something around their heart awakening, loving themselves. There's communication that they have with their person and there's a lot of conflict there. It's all been part of their journey. Very heavy. So this is what I was feeling. But we've got there like a a wagon, you know, which is like this chariot, fast movement forward. Yeah, see, with this awakening, something comes out, their true feelings emerge. Um, and they, again, this is like this discussion they have with their person that causes conflict. Someone points the finger. This has been an obstacle. Now, finances could be a block here as well. Yeah, and there's, see again, there's that conflict they're having within and with this person. Keeps coming out. So when we keep getting the same message, that spirit sort of verifying, you know, what's come through. And that's amazing. The Six of Pentacles came out there in between you both. And it was sideways. So this is showing that alignment that I feel some of you are trying to sort of find within and in this connection. You're both not quite there yet. But this could be very balanced. Your person's learned a lot of lessons and feel that they will come back changed, potentially. Something around finances as well being an issue here. With this, you know, it could be that they're arguing over money with their person that's coming through there. Okay, so I'm going to do an extended. Um, for those not going on to the extended, I'm going to pull a spirit animal. See what spirit animal is, is guiding you and your person right now. Okay, that went flying. Let's take another one for luck. We've got pig spirit, use your mind wisely. So your person really needs to think this through, I feel. With the pig having wings, some of you are losing hope. Spirit is saying, keep going, be strong. 47 breaks down to 11. This is a divine connection. Armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries. So this is what your person needs to do with this person they're with, I feel, who's causing conflict clearly within. And that, I feel, is your less their lesson, sorry, um, to have boundaries. And that could also be your lesson something that you went through with this person, for example, or someone else, learning to find that, yeah, find that balance in a connection. 
things, you know, things should be balanced. If it's comfortable, flows easily, then it's divine. If there's conflict and obstacles, it's karmic. So this person's in a karmic situation. And we've got three there as well, showing another energy. Okay, Taurus, so as I said, I'm going to do an extended. In that reading, we're going to look at blocks in misconnection, how your person feels about you, what action they may take next in their life and towards you, the likely outcome of this connection, messages from them to you, and some advice from Spirit. The link to the extended is in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Sending peace, love and light to you all.